I love this recipe already. Hey guys, it's Maddie. I am so excited because I just picked up the How Not to Die cookbook and this book looks amazing. It's by Dr. Greger and all of the recipes in here look really, really easy and really healthy and delicious. So I am about to cook my way through this whole entire cookbook. And I just wanna start with some of the basics first. I'm gonna start with the date syrup today because it seems like it's used a lot in this cookbook. Okay, so let's start. Uh, the first thing we need is one cup of dates. These are just dates that I get from Costco. You can get a really, really big bag. I keep them in a jar just so I can access them more easily. I don't always need to go into the really big bag. Um, so this is almost a cup, I think. Oh, more than one cup. Okay, we don't need that many. That should be good. One cup of dates. I'm just going to put them in this glass Tupperware. They need somewhere to soften, so I'm gonna use the glass Tupperware and pour one cup of boiling water on top of them, and then we'll let them sit for an hour. Oh no, get covered. Ta-da! Okay, so we let that sit for one hour and then add a little bit of lemon and blend it up. This is like so easy. <laughs> I love this recipe already. Okay, so I will let those sit and come back in an hour. A few moments later. While I'm waiting for these to soften, I might as well read some date facts and we can find out why dates are good for us. Dates have essential minerals such as calcium, iron, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, magnesium, sulfur, and zinc. They also contain important vitamins such as thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, folate, vitamin A, and vitamin K. Dates are a good source of energy. They may boost brain health. They're a good source of iron. And of course, they are delicious. <laughs> and now you know. Okay, I think the dates are soft. I'm going to put them in this little blender cup. And you just add all of the water and dates, I guess. And then it calls for like a teaspoon of a whole blended lemon, but I haven't whole blended my lemons yet. I just have a little bit of juice from one. So I'm gonna add that. Mmm, oh my gosh, so good. Let's just pour it into our jar. So I guess there you have it. This is our date syrup, which is going to be used for a bunch of different recipes in the cookbook, How Not to Die cookbook. Um, this is available on Amazon. I will put it in a link below so you guys can check it out if anyone is interested. And yes, fresh date syrup. This tastes delicious. Super easy to make. I think this will be used a lot in the other recipes in the cookbook. So I wanted to start with one of the basic recipes and this was it. Super easy and super inexpensive to make at home. This will definitely be a staple for our kitchen from now on. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please feel free to subscribe. I'm making new videos, lots of new videos, all about whole food plant-based cooking. A lot of them will be recipes from the How Not to Die cookbook, as well as some other random whole food plant-based recipes. So that's what's coming up, and I will see you guys next time. The end, bye-bye.